Hello, hello. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Welcome to you. May this work be of deep benefit. And if you are returning, welcome back. Welcome back. As always, I love hearing from you. I love hearing what you think about this and how it's moving in your own life. Feel free to leave a comment, like the video so that I know this is the kind of topics you'd like me to cover or subscribe to the channel and you get notified right away. If you want to know what's happening in the retreats and the workshops and the extra stuff I'm doing off of YouTube or Facebook, make sure you go to www.innergeesyoga.com and you subscribe to my newsletter. And that way you get my blog every week and you can see what's going on off the mat. And um, you get all kinds of uh, like insider information. You know what I mean? So, okay. Today we're talking about the healthy habit of journaling and gratitude. Journaling and gratitude. We've been talking about how if we are not being self-reflective with someone else, we're not truly being self-reflective because if we just keep staying in the mind that's creating the, the, the stuff, we're not really getting out of it. So I've recommended working with a therapist, right? Working with a life coach or a mindset coach, working with me, working in some sort of 12-step program, working with some sort of community where you're getting out of yourself out of yourself. And one of the easiest ways to do it and the most uh, like least expensive is journaling, right? If you're journaling and you're just brain draining and just pouring out your guts, pouring out all your thoughts, and then you look at it, you're getting that distance that we need in order to truly be self-reflective. So we can't just sit in the spin and do it. I'm not talking about being on the computer and I'm not talking about typing in your phone. I'm literally talking about using your pen and paper or pencil and writing it out and then looking at it. And if you're in the inner circle, we look at what do we do with this once it's written? I don't want you to say, dear diary, my life sucks and then just put it away because then we sit in that spin. But using this time to really move through some of this personal development growth, okay? So today, 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 we are talking about gratitude. We're talking about gratitude. Now, Last week in the inner circle, we talked about relationships and that's our topic uh, in June. We, we dive into relationships and, and how they show up in your life and how you show up. But we did a little bit of a sneak peek here because we're talking about what is a well-rounded friendship circle? What kinds of people do we want to have in our orb, in our in our circle? Um, I won't go into that here, but are you feeling well-rounded in your in your groups? And that's really, really important because they keep us what? balanced. So today we're talking about gratitude for some of the things that aren't really going our way in our relationships. Now it could be relationships with your ex. It could be relationships with food or drink, with your kids, with your, your time, with the way you spend money, with the way your boss and your, your coworkers behave, how you feel valued or undervalued. It could be whatever relationship you want to, to dive into. Okay. That's our topic today. Now, if you have come to my yoga classes, you know that I often end with this, this saying, as always, may we sit in the spirit of gratitude, not just when things are easy, not just when things are going our way, but also when things are really, really challenging, confusing, frustrating, scary, sad. Can we be grateful for these scratchier lessons too? Because they show us who we are. And so who are you? Who are you right now? Okay, that's how I like to end the class. Who are you right now? It's because of these things that we are the way we are. So I'd like you to think about a relationship in your life that's scratchy, right? It's not going the way you want it to go right? It could be a flare up with your ex, with your kid, with over drinking, overeating. It could be the way you're handling your time management, watching too much TVs and keep procrastinating chores or, or stuff to clean out with the, with the work files or whatever. It could be the way you spend money, right? What's not going your way? Journal it out and then ask yourself, what about this helps me know myself even more? How can I be grateful for the things that are not going my way? Okay. couple ways. Maybe you learn about setting solid boundaries, right? 
um, this 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 uh, friend of yours who's constantly gossiping and and it just makes you feel so dirty after you leave. Your boundary is I don't I don't want to be around people who gossip. I just don't. You have an ex uh, ex partner or spouse that you just do not see parenting in the same way, and they just don't get it, and you just don't get it. You know. This gives you some clarity of like, I really feel confident that what I believe is is right for me. And I don't need to convince them that this is right. I, they can have their own opinion, but I feel sure that this is the way I feel about this. And, and that's okay that we don't agree, right? That could be something you set up. You could decide that, you know, I don't like not knowing what my, my role is at work. I, I don't like showing up every day and feeling undervalued. This is the last straw. This is the last... Thing that's going to happen at work. I'm going to start to find a job that really serves me body, mind, and spirit. And, and I needed this last sort of bottom to be able to get that clarity of like, it's time to move on. Okay. Whatever it is, you're going to journal it out. You're going to journal it out, journal it out, journal it out, look at it, and then ask yourself, what about this clarity right now? Can I be grateful for? And then sit in that gratitude, just sit in it. Okay. Now, as I head off this video, I just want to offer you one thing. Also in our inner circle this past week, we didn't just go around the room and talk about what we were grateful for, because that's not the same thing as feeling grateful, right? Grateful for my health and grateful for my wealth and grateful for my kids and great. Not that. It's like feeling it. I'm so grateful for this clarity. Like I really feel like I'm ready to shift. I'm really feeling that this light inside of me is turning on or whatever it is for you. Feel the gratitude, okay? If you want to join the inner circle, please do. We are coming up into sensuality, sexuality month, right? Where we're really going to dive deeply into our sexual and sensual patterns. Then we're moving into relationships. As I said, we're going to really look at the relationships, what, what your role is, what their role is, food, drink, principles, whatever it is. And then we're moving into movement making sure that we have the kind of movement in our life that suits us, whether it's physical movement like exercise or maybe movement decluttering your house, whatever movement it is, maybe it's bowel movements um, for real. Uh, and then we move into breath work and meditation um, at the end of the quarter where we really start to settle in um, and some of that deep, deep uh, electrical wiring, that breath work. Okay. If this is a benefit to you, reach out innergazeyoga at gmail.com, innergazeyoga at gmail.com. You and I will get on a free call just like this. I can answer any questions you have and you can join our group Mondays at 7 p.m., Wednesdays at 11 a.m. and uh, anywhere in the world, right? You can be on Zoom in these inner circle groups or you can come in person if you're here and uh, may this work be of deep, deep benefit to you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, like and subscribe so I know that you're here and that you enjoyed this topic and I will see you soon. All right, bye.